guys there. Put it on your bed, buddy. See if I can find you lovelies this morning. There we are. Yay, and we're the right side today. Post. That's awesome. Good morning, Aunt Mimi. And Becky's here. Nice. I woke up late this morning. Well, that's not true. I woke up early, but I went back to bed because I had the longest day on the planet yesterday. And I was just like, I'm going to sleep some more. Which means I'm kind of not prepared this morning. But I did get my video checklist done. I got the data turned off and the do not disturb turned on and the microphone plugged in. Got all that stuff done today. And I see you guys coming up. Oh, there's some more. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, Leanne. The Swanee Crampground, that is so cool. Becky, that's awesome. So this morning, because my body is telling me what it needs, it needs a good morning or wake up practice. Now it's so funny because a lot of people their thought is if you need to wake up you just go straight to doing sun salutation. But you don't want to make your body miserable in the process. You want that to be a slow warm up so as you come up into that you feel better. So that's what we're going to do. Good morning Chrissy. Oh excuse me. Good morning Barbara. Oh, you guys can't see that from the film. Can you notice if there's anything weird with my right forearm? I can kind of see it in that picture. Because I was going to take the cellophane off my arm and see if it looked weird, but... Oh my gosh, today is Wednesday. Thank you for reminding me, Barbara. Happy hump day to you. And Parker. Are you going to go get on your mat? You have your own mat. You have your own mat. Go get on, get on your mat, buddy. And we'll get started. Good morning, Molly. Mm. Good morning, Miss Molly. Hey, hey, no playing. Come here. We're going to get started and wake up. I know you're already awake. Come here. Right here. Whoa. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. He wants to play. He's not a snuggler. He wants to bite me. But, yeah, he's kind of a mama's dog. Hey. I know. I, won't, I haven't been awake long, and this is your playtime. But it's their playtime right now. Oh, not on that arm, buddy. All right. I'm going to ignore you so that it's your go away. Go get in your bed. So, good morning everybody. We're going to do a slow wake up practice. We're going to take our time getting into it. See, he knows. Teacher voice went on. And see what we can do with our bodies today. We're going to set the intention. We find our breath. And 
And then after we set that intention and we are in contact with the breath, we allow that right ear to come towards the right shoulder. We're going to let that right hand lift and just place it on top of the head. We're not trying to pull, but it's just that weight of the hand giving a little extra pull. Now we're going to release and switch. So left ear comes towards left shoulder, left hand comes up, grabbing that head, pulling it down. One, two, three, four, five. Gently release. Head comes back up. Find the breath. Feel those sit bones. Yes. Good morning, Petra. Good morning, Jesse. Yes, he does tap around. Tap. Tap around. <laughs> now from here, we're going to lift those pelvic floors, pull the navel in, nice tall spine. Open those eyes, lace the fingers, press down it. Up. Opening through your heart, let that chest expand. Heart shines up towards the sky and one. Taking the time to hold it here. Three, four, five, and gently turn to the right. I wasn't kidding when I said this was a sleepy practice. I am quite sleepy. One, two, three, four, Five, left shoulder comes down, right arm comes up. One, two, three, four, five. Contract that right side to come up. And back to the center, hands come out and up. And turn to the left tall spine. Good morning, Frank. My body is sleepy. My, well, my arm is better. This is gonna fall off during practice. We'll have to take it off. I am, um, we have this subtle instinct to want to catch things that fall, right? We don't mean to, but we just do. Well, I was sewing yesterday and my son brought me this industrial iron. I reached to grab the iron as it was falling sideways and it hit my arm but as I was coming up and it was coming down not only did it hit me it branded me and I had to peel it off my arm so we put aloe on it and wrapped it with uh, cellophane to keep it in place um, it's quite ugly so thank you for asking we're seeing how doing yoga in cellophane is working this morning Two, three, four, five, and slowly come back up. But the rest of me is kind of sleepy and feeling pretty good. And back to the center. And your body's good too, huh? And lengthen. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly, we're going to come back up and switch legs. Right arm comes down, left arm reaches. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We're going to take that hand, twist it through. Oh. One, two, three, four. But, and release. I do realize why I'm a little tighter and sore. So, coming up, left arm, left side, and reach. Good morning, George. You guys may know that one of the many jobs that I have is I do support care for a, a lovely lady who is an adult with special needs. And I took her blueberry picking in Auburndale yesterday. We picked six pounds of blueberries. It was awesome. Hand comes up, bend the elbow, and twist through. It's a tiny little mom and pop kind of farm. It's called Luna Farms. It's in Kayville, and um, there was hardly anybody there. 
as in people wise and there was plenty of berries to pick and uh, if you guys want to go and do something like that this weekend or this week that's a really nice place three four five and gently release and stretch and slowly we're gonna come up and open through the chest all right i feel like the body's starting to move a little better now we're gonna come forward hands come up race nice big stretch here one two three four five hands come down as we come up back so the hands come together roll back body one two three four five gently release feeling those shoulders i want to continue to stretch to the shoulder and stretch to my neck as i wake up so we're going to do the neck pull and it's really you're pulling the arm which affects the neck so i'm going to take this left arm and put it behind me i'm going to take this right hand grabbing that left wrist and i'm going to put pull down and in a diagonal so as i pull down and at that diagonal i'm going to allow my ear to drift towards the right so it's a really big stretch on the left side of the body and in the side of the neck. Two, three, four, five. We're going to lift that head and release. And we're going to take that right arm, put it behind, diagonal. Left hand grabs the wrist, so we're pulling it down towards the floor here. So it's across the body in a diagonal. Now allow your left ear to drift over towards your left shoulder. Nice work here. Two, three, four, five. We're going to bring that head back up and release that arm. Now we've pulled behind us. Let's see if we can work on cow face pose while we're here. We're continuing to work through neck and shoulders. We're slowly just moving down the body. I'm going to go ahead and stack my legs. Now, my right leg's on top of my left one. If this is difficult for you, the bottom leg can be straight. So right leg is on the top. We're going to let that right arm come over. Left arm comes under. One, two, three, four, Five. Now we begin to lean forward. We're really going to feel that rotation in that left arm that's behind you. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly we come up and gently release. When we let that left arm come out, we just kind of shake it, turn it. Feel like hokey pokey. Put your left arm in, you put your left arm out, you put your left arm in, and you shake it all about. That's, the type, that's what goes on up here, just letting you know. So we're going to change legs. So now the left leg is on the top, right leg is on the bottom, tall spine, lift pelvic floor, pulling in that navel, right? My left leg's on the top, my left arm goes over. Right arm comes under. One, two, three, four. Five, we begin to come forward. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly coming back up and gently release. And again, that's the right arm in, right arm out, right arm in, and shake it all about. Yay. We're going to come back up and we're going to put the bottoms of those feet together. Leaning forward, nice cobbler's pose. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Two, three, four, five. Slowly we come back up. We're going to lift those knees. We're going to cross those arms and roll. And bring those knees up and change the cross and roll. Good morning, Jean Jean, the dancing machine.
and bring those knees in. Grab the bottom of the right foot. We're going to extend that leg up. Excuse me. Nice tall spine. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. We're going to let that leg come out to the side. Feel that open just a little bit. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. We're going to bring that leg back up and this right leg comes down. Left leg comes up. Oof. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Left leg comes out to the side. And pretty much everything we've done so far, you could do sitting in bed when you first wake up, which would go with the sleepy practice, which I'm sure that's where Jesse's practicing. I'm sorry if I called you out, Jesse, but you know. <laughs> and bring that foot back in. We're going to put the bottom of the foot down. And we're going to drop those knees over to the left, sitting up nice and tall. We feel that right hip pressing down into the floor. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to bring those knees up and over to the other side. One, two, three. Four, five, and back up. Nicely done. We're going to bounce it out. Now, from here, we're going to take those hands and we're going to reach towards those feet. And maybe this is as far as you get. Maybe you make it all the way to the feet. Lifting pelvic floor, hollow out the belly, leaning forward. And my back this morning is like, oh, good morning. And I don't normally wake up in this much of a brain fog. So back in the 80s, there was this commercial for Dunkin' Donuts, I guess it was, where this, this guy would have to get up really early and he would be going down the hall going, I got to make the donuts, I got to make the donuts. Well, that was me this morning. I got to make the yoga. I got to make the yoga. I'm glad you guys are here. No denying on my behalf. Yeah, I didn't think so. Good morning, Wendy. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Three. Four. Five. And slowly come up, right leg comes over the left, lengthening forward. One, two, three, four, five, and back up. Foot comes next to the knee, rotate to the right, tall spine. One, two, three. Four, five, back to the center. Grab the foot, rock it out. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to put the foot on the thigh, leaning forward. Oh my goodness. Nice big stretch. One, two, three. Four, five, slowly we're going to come back up, right hand comes behind, press down to come up, lengthening through that arm and one, two, three, four, five, booty comes right back down, we're going to take this right foot, place it into that thigh, let that left knee come up, maybe that right knee comes all the way down, open through side body. Now, just for funsies, see if maybe you can take that arm and reach. One, two, three, four, five, and release it down. We're going to let those legs come out. Nice little 
Yay! Coffee and yoga with Michelle. That's me. Yay! There's my coffee. And come over and lengthen. So I've been drinking this coffee the last week. It's called Death Wish. It comes in a black bag. It has a skull and crossbones on it. It's a medium roast. It's not a dark roast, but it supposedly is the most highly caffeinated coffee that you can buy on the market. It tastes good. I haven't noticed the caffeine um, being any more than anything else, but the flavor was very good and it's still quite a grisly looking bag when you take it out of the freezer. Two, three, four, five. Coming up, foot comes next to the knee, rotate to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to the center. Take that foot. We're going to rock it out. Starting to wake up. I think it's like 15. Huh, uh, Molly, it's like 15 something, I think. Whatever the that ratio, for some reason, the number 15 sticks in my brain. But it's a lot of cough, a lot of caffeine. Gotta try antimatter. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do that too. And Barbara will try that with me. And we're gonna put that foot on the inside of the thigh. We're gonna come forward, release that leg a little bit. Nice work. And one, two, three, four, five. We're going to slowly come up. That left hand comes behind. Press down to come up and lengthen. Stretch it out. Yay. Man, I'm waking up with you guys. It's awesome. And back. And then that foot comes in. And we're going to let that knee come up. And maybe we bring it down. Maybe you're sitting here. And even if you're sitting here, I want you to see if you can reach. So I'm putting my knee down, and that works as a nice counterbalance. But I have this opening here through the rib cage down into waistline, getting those lymphatics to really work. I'm going to reach. One, two, three. Two, three, 
four, five, bring that one in. We're gonna bring that right wrist towards the chin. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna bring that foot up, left hand comes in. One, two, three, four, five. And bring that one back up. Now from here, we're gonna cross those knees, Pull those ankles down and up towards armpits, feeling lower back stretch out. One, two, three, four, five, and switch. Pulling those feet down and up. One, two, three, four, five. From there, we're going to release, pulling both knees in. Nice rotation here in the back body. And then from there, we're going to lift those legs up in the air. Now we're gonna get some core in. We've been a little remiss on getting that core in. So we're gonna let that right leg come down. So we're at a 45. Now ideally, we wanna hold the legs here. So if just this is the work for you, then you're gonna be working your lower abs and trying to keep this posture. If you feel like you have a little more, you can put your hands on the back of the head or you can reach with your arms, whichever you feel. Like if you feel like you're lifting with your head when you do your arms, then maybe you should put your hands here and make sure your neck stays safe. I'll do it both ways. I'll do it with my hands here the first time and I'll do them extended the second time so you can see. So I'm gonna to rotate to the left and down and towards those right toes and down that's one. Rotate to the left and down to right toes and down, that's two. To the left and down to right toes and down, that's three. To the left and down to right toes and down, that's four. To the left and down to right toes and down, that's five. I think I got off, but we'll live. Leg comes up, left leg comes down. So this time I'm gonna use my arms. I'm gonna reach to the right and down and left toes, and down, that's one. Reach with those hands, and down towards those toes, and down, that's two. Reach to the right, and down to the toes, and down, that's three. To the right, and down to the toes, and down, that's four, and to the right, and down to left, and down, that's five. Bring that leg up. Oh. We're gonna bend both legs and pull them into the body. <laughs> nice work here. And then we're gonna put the bottoms of the feet flat on the floor. Press down through those feet, lift in the hips up, and we come into a bridge posture. Nice lift here, there's a nice contraction in the glute. Feel that work through the breath. One, two, three. Four, five, we're going to slowly come down, take a pause. Let's see if we can do that one again. We're going to lift those hips up. Really big lift, nice contraction through glutes. One, two, three, four, five. And slowly coming back down. We're going to windshield wiper those legs. Nice work here. And then from there, we're gonna pull those knees in. We're gonna cross those ankles, rolling on up. We're gonna to come to hands and knees. Now, I'm really starting to get froggy, starting to wake up. I'm gonna come into that child's pose to release my lower back, anything that still might be in there that needs a stretch. And this is where my knees are really starting to get warmed up. My feet are starting to get warmed up. We've worked our upper body. We literally, we started at the neck, then we went through the shoulders. We did twisting through the middle body. We worked on the hips when we were seated and when we were climbing. And now we're starting to get into knees and feet so we can do some work when we stand up. Let's see if we can do a sun salutation here or a, a, a mini type of it on the mat. We're going to inhale those hands up. And exhaling it back down. And then inhale up to table. And from table, 
knees, chest and chin, and the belly comes down. Soften those feet, lift the chest, open the heart, smile. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna let that chest slowly come back down. And then from here, we're gonna press the table, from table, turn those toes, down dog. Now this is that first sound dog. We're bending and stretching. Lengthening out. One, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna put those knees back down and come back out into child's pose. Now that we kind of got the hang of it, we're gonna do that again, but we're gonna add a camel into the beginning of the posture. So we're gonna inhale up. So we inhale lifting, so we're working through that back body, but now we're gonna pull those elbows out into goalpost arms, letting the heart come up. We're looking up, but from the goalpost, we now bring those hands to hips, pushing hips forward, opening into camel. One two, three, four, five. Contract that belly. Let those hands come back up. As you come right back down, we're coming to the floor. Nice big stretch. We feel that back body lengthen. Inhaling to table. From table, knees, chest and chin. Belly comes down, chest comes up. Opening through the heart. Keep those feet together. Smile. Three, Four, five, as that chest comes down, we roll to the right. We put that right arm down, stack those feet. See if we can lift the body up, left hand lifts. Now we wanna wake up a little more, so we're gonna take this hand, we're gonna come down, cup that armpit, and back up, that's one. Cup that armpit, up, that's two. Cup that armpit, and up, that's three, nicely done. Hip comes down and belly comes down. Maybe a little rock here. As we roll to the left side, we're gonna put that left forearm down. We're gonna stack those feet. You can use this arm to help you lift if you would like. Right arm comes up. Now once we come into this posture, we're gonna see if we can take this hand, cup, armpit, and back up, that's one. We're gonna cup, armpit, and up, that's two. We're going to reach down, cup, armpit, and back up, that's three. Hip comes down, belly comes down, and rest a moment. Feeling that work. We're going to bring those hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to press up to table, from table to down dog, bending and stretching. Let that right leg come up, bend the knee, open through the front of the hip, one, Two, three, four, five. Right foot comes down. We're gonna let that left leg come up, bend the knee, open through the front of the hip. One, two, three, four, five. And then that foot comes down. Knees come down, come back into that child's pose. Stretch it out. Mm. Now, we're going to do that again and add more stuff into it. We're going to inhale up. No camel pose this time. Exhaling right back down. And then from here, inhaling to table. From table, knees, chest and chin. Belly comes down. Soften that belly with a little rock. We're going to stretch the shoulder. Right arm comes out. See if we can roll to right side. Make sure your right ear stays down on the floor. Nice full breathing here. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna bring that belly back down. We're gonna extend that left arm out and roll. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, and gently release. Coming back to that center, hands come underneath the shoulders. We're gonna press 
to table. Now we're taking a pause in this table and we're gonna do some more work. We kick that right foot out. We extend left leg out, left arm comes up. We let left leg lift. One, two, three, four, five. Bend at the knee, grab the foot. One, two, three, four, five. Gently release. Left hand comes down, left knee comes down as we kick out to the side. And right arm lifts up, right leg lifts up. One, two, three, four, five. Bend at the knee, grab the foot, open through the front of the hips. One, two, three, four, five. Gently release, right hand down, right knee down. Turn those toes, down dog. Nice big stretch here. One, two, three, four, five. Knees come down. We're gonna come back into that child's pose. Nicely done. And you see that we're slowly getting faster and we're slowly doing more. Now from here, we've done the work on the floor. We did work on our backs. We've done work on hands and knees. So we're gonna start making it to the feet. And we're gonna make that slow transition to the feet through squat because squat is so good for hips, feet, legs, hips, all of that. So we're gonna turn those toes under and see if you can push back into a squat, um, AKA coffee drinking pose. Nicely done, everybody. The bottoms of the feet are flat. We feel that lower back really stretch. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna let that right arm come down, left arm comes up. One, two, three, four, five. Hands come up, left hand down, right hand up. One, two, three, four, five. And those hands come back and gently release. We're gonna come forward, put a little weight in the backs of those triceps for those crows that we're going to do one day. And we're gonna press to come up. Those arms help take pressure out of the knees. We're looking at the knees, not the feet, so we can elongate through the neck. Shake the head no. Shake the head yes. And bend those knees to slowly roll up. Hands come up. And right back down. Oh, nicely worked. So we made it to our feet. We check in with those feet. Lift and lower. Head goes side to side. And let's see if we can start from the top. We're going to come here. Inhale up. Exhale forward, folding, feeling that lower back. It is not a bruise. It is a burn. It is a very bad burn. Um, my aunt asked if there was a bruise on the inside of my arm. It is not. Last night, whenever I was ironing, I got caught up in the cord and it fell. I was telling everybody when we first started. And instinctively, we try to reach out and grab stuff. And it not only did I burn myself, but I hit myself. So it's a, it is a bruise, but it's a bruise from the iron and a burn. So it looks really ugly. I took the cellophane off of it because it was hot. You wouldn't have noticed it necessarily before then, but I couldn't handle this stuff being on my arm anymore. And from there, fingertips flat back. Forward fold, thanks for asking. Stepping back into plank. From plank, knees, chest and chin. Belly comes down. Soften the feet. Lifting the chest. Nice big stretch. Taylor took really good care of me though. He ran outside and he cut a piece of aloe. 
and he put aloe all over it and then wrapped it in the cellophane so it would stay put and then put ice on it and told me to go to bed and I did. And chest comes down and come up to table and back into down dog, bending and stretching. We've made it to our feet. We're doing great. We're going to step forward, fingertips flat back, lengthening. And forward folding, inhale all the way up and down. And we're going to come back to the center. So we're going to try balancing right now. So we haven't done a lot of balance lately. We want to try to start putting that back into the practice. We've done the floor practice. Now it's a standing practice. So we're going to try tree first. That's typically the one you would start with to get the body warm. Left foot, heel ball toe. Putting all the weight, four points down. Maybe lift those toes, lower those toes. We're going to take that right foot. Maybe it goes here. Maybe it comes here. Maybe we grab and place. One, two, three, four, five. Arms come back up. One, two, three, four, five. Hands come back to the heart. And release it down. We're going to walk it out. Let's take we to the other side. Right foot, heel, ball, toes. We're going to put the weight on that right foot. We're going to take that left foot in place. We're going to take that left foot and put it on the shin. We're going to take that left foot and place it into the thigh. Hands come to the heart. One, two, three, four, five. We let those arms extend. One, two, three, four, five, and gently release it down, release that foot. We're going to walk it out. Nice, happy, and you can always wiggle here. You know, if you have a little catch in your get along, as my grandmother would say, you can shake that out, you can move, you can put your thumb in it to try to release it if you need to, and then we come back to the front of the mat. We're going to inhale it up. Exhale, forward folding, smiling, being happy that we're waking up and that we're together and fingertips flat back. Forward folding. Now from here, we're going to bend those knees. We're going to step those feet back. We're going to come back into plank. We're hanging out in plank. Now remember, we've been through these sun salutations. You know what some of the modifications are. If you need to just stay in forward fold, then do that and wait for us to come back. Maybe you went straight to down dog. That's okay too. Knees, chest and chin. We come down to that belly. Rock it out. We're going to walk those thighs together. Let the feet touch. We're going to reach back, lace those fingers together, press and lift. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly, we're going to come back down. We're going to put those hands under. We're going to press to table, front table, back to down dog, bending and stretching, bending and stretching. Looking forward, we bend those knees. We're going to step forward, fingertips flat back, really lengthening here. Forward fold. We're going to inhale all the way back up. Hands come down. Chair pose. But we're going to bring the hands forward. We're going to bend the knees, send the hips back. Bend the knees, send the hips back. Really try to rotate so you're filling in this space. One, two, three, four, five. As we start to stand up, we're going to come all the way up onto the balls of the feet, still continuing to stand here. One, two, three, four. Five, bending those knees, we're coming into chair, but on the balls of the feet. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly we start to stand back up. And now we let the heels come down halfway. So the heels are just hovering. We're going to bend those knees, but we're going to stick them together. Really bend and tuck, bend and tuck, bend and tuck. Send the booty back. One. Shoulders drop. Two. 
three, four, five. Press down through those feet to slowly come up. Hands come down. <sighs> Walk it out. So that's a lot of work in the arms. You would think, oh, it's going to be in my quads or my back. But those arms for that duration, they really get heavy. We're going to come back to the front of the mat. We're going to inhale up. Exhale, forward folding. Leaning down. Really feeling that lower back. I have a little catch right here in the back today. Trying to stretch that out. Fingertips flat back, forward folding, bend the knees, send the right foot back. We're going to ground that foot. We're going to come up into warrior one. Nice big stretch here. We're going to open out goal post arms, open that chest. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to lift those arms back up. Now once we get them up, we look forward. We're going to rotate the torso without letting the knee move, coming into warrior two. One, two, three, four, five. Now from here, we're going to let that left elbow come down. Right arm reaches. Feel that elongation on right side of body. Feel grounded and connected through those feet. One, two, three, four, five. Let's revolve that around. Right elbow comes to left knee. Palms are together. One, two, three, four, five. Gently release. We're going to put those hands down to the floor. Come to the ball of right foot. We're going to step back into plank. From plank, knees, chest and chin, all the way to the floor. Maybe a little rock here with the hips. Bringing those legs together, we're going to lift the chest. Where's your breath? Are you lifting that pelvic floor? Where do you feel connected? Feel temperature and texture of your mat. Lift the feet now. Lift the arms. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly we come all the way down. Now from here, we're going to slowly press the table from table to down dog. We're going to bend and stretch it. Bend and stretch it. Right leg comes forward, grounding that back leg. We're going to cartwheel up. No, we're not. To warrior one. So once we're in that warrior one, goal post arms. Open the chest. One. Two. Sinking into it. Really feel that work. Three. Waking up. Four. Five, arms straighten up. Now we're going to rotate just the torso, coming into warrior two. We don't let this leg rotate in. We want to keep it going forward. One, two, three, four, five. Right elbow down, left arm reaches, hips forward, shoulders back. One, two, three, four. Five, we're going to revolve. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to let those hands come to the floor. Come to the ball of left foot as we step forward, fingertips flat back. Forward fold, looking at those knees. We're going to inhale all the way up. Hands come back down. Release it out. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of work. Nice full breath. I'm not talking to you, buddy. It's all good. So we're going to work on another balance. We're going to work on dancer posture. So we're going to let, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see how this works from the side. I'm going to be balancing on my left foot. So my left foot is going to be heel, ball, toes. We put all the weight into that left leg. We're going to take that right hand and we're going to rotate out to the side. Now my thumb is up, my palm is open. I'm going to bend my right leg, grab it on the inside. Left arm is up. Maybe this is enough work for you right here and then stay here. But maybe you can begin to shift that leg back. One, two, three, four, five. Gently release and put it down. Walk it out. Let's try the other side. 
Right foot, heel, ball, toes. We're going to put weight in that right foot. We're going to let that left hand come behind. Palm is open. We're going to grab that foot. We're going to let that right arm come up. From there, we're going to start to lean forward. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly, we're going to come back up. Release that foot. Walk it out. Nice work. We're going to come back to the front. <sighs> Inhaling up. Exhaling forward fold. Fingertips flat back. Forward folding. Soften those knees. Send that right foot back. We're going to ground that foot. We're going to cartwheel up into warrior two. But once we get here, we're going to straighten this front leg. We're going to lengthen and tip. Coming into your best version of triangle. Hips forward, shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to take this top hand, slowly start to come down. That right hand comes to the floor. We're bending left knee. Right hand comes down. We're going to start to rotate. Hand comes up. Now see if you can straighten that left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Top hand comes down. From here, we're going to slowly come up, turn to center, forward fold. Feeling that work in that lower back through the feet, maybe shake your head no, shake your head yes. This is normally when I see all the dust bunnies underneath everything. That's the hazard of practicing from home. But the good thing is you can practice with your dog in your pajamas while drinking your coffee, visiting with all your friends. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna bend the knees, slowly we come up. Arms come out, turn right toes out. We're going to lengthen and tip. And we're going to practice our triangle in the other direction. Hips forward, shoulders back, looking up. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to take that top hand, place it down on the floor. We're going to rotate. Right arm comes up. Begin to straighten right leg. One, two, Three, four, five. We're going to take that top hand, slowly bring it down. We're going to press through that foot to come back up. We're going to come back to the center. But instead of a full forward fold right now, we're going to bend the knees and put our elbows on the knees. So we're going to come here and try to release and lengthen that back. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to let that left shoulder look in as we look up over the right shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. Right shoulder comes in looking up. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the center. Slowly we roll back up from here we're going to turn those toes and step back to the front of the mat <sighs> nice work we need to make it down to the mat so we're going to go wide we're going to bend those knees and slowly squat we feel that lengthening through the hip we find our breath one two three, four, five. We're going to extend those hands out. Oh, and sit. We're going to hug those knees. Nice work here. Yay, us. We got up and showed up for our lives. Isn't that all we can ever do, really? And roll back. Pull those knees in. Nice little rock here. 
So we're going to do that fun stretch, let me scoot up a little bit, that we did yesterday. I know you guys always flinch when I say fun. I should probably say effective, which is better, right? We're going to put that right foot on the left knee. This is where we start because it's a two-part stretch. We're going to bring that left knee in. We feel that hip stretch. Nice work through the hip. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and gently release. So you're going to take this same foot and let it lay down on the floor. So it's the same shape, it's just further down instead of being on the knee. Now, with this leg laying down and turned out, we're going to pull that knee back to the chest. Oh, boy. One, flex this foot, stay active. Two, three, four, five, and gently release. We're going to pull that knee up. We're going to put left ankle on right knee. Take that right knee, pull it into the chest, and one, two, three, four, five. We're going to let that foot come down. And we're going to let that left one come all the way to the floor so it still has that same shape. We're going to bring that right knee to chest. Flex that foot. Find your breathing. Holy guacamole. Three, four, Five, we're gonna put that foot back down. Bring that left knee up. Oh, man. And then we're gonna slowly start to straighten one leg and then the other and reach. So this part right here is just the centering, maybe a little rocking for you. So we have two more poses before Shavasana. They're not too much of a big deal. We're going to bring those arms down beside the body. And we're going to try to come up onto those elbows. So we're going to try to lift, putting those fingers under our glutes. And let the, ch the chin and the head flip back. So you're going to notice this is kind of like bridge pose, but it's bridge through the chest instead of bridge through the feet and the hips. We're opening the heart. We're opening the neck. We're trying to balance out the body from the work that we've done. And then gently release the head, release those arms as we roll down, we lift those knees. Now we press through the feet and we do bridge here. So we went from fish pose to bridge pose. Matsyasana, that was a variation of Matsyasana. This is bridge pose, a lot of times it's called Satupandasana, but there's a lot of different versions of this pose too. And slowly we're going to roll down, maybe a windshield wiper with those knees, and then slowly release down. And we get ready for our Shavasana. I should probably call it Parker pose because that's kind of what he's doing. <laughs> so we soften down, we release the feet. We release the ankles. We release the shin and calf. Sighing if you need to. When I sigh, it helps me get all that air out of my chest. It helps me relax even more. Maybe you just calculate that and have a sighing type of exhale. So I've rested my feet and my ankles and the shin and the calf. I move through the knees and into the thighs. We soften the glutes and the pelvic belly. 
We release the lower back and navel. Mid back and solar plexus. Shoulder blades and heart. The collarbones lift as we find our breath. We feel that inhale now travel up the back body. We feel all of those muscles relax, tension fade away. If there was still tension maybe in your face or if you were locking your jaw, let that go. As you exhale down the front body, same thing. We're getting rid of stress, fatigue, dis-ease. We're going to feel that inhale travel up back body. Exhale, down front body. So maybe here you want to stay and restore and reset and hug your fur babies. Maybe you want to start sitting up with me. So if you want to sit up with me, we're going to begin to move those fingers and toes and wiggle those wrists, checking in with the body. We're going to bend one knee and then the other, lower back is flat. Windshield wiper the legs. And then maybe we can roll over to the right side or pull those knees in and then roll. And then slowly we push up to a comfortable seated position. Yay, us. When we get to that seated position, we allow that right ear just to drift over towards right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. And back to the center, we bring the hands to the heart. We remind ourselves of all the amazing things we have in our life to be thankful for. Also, it's just as effective or even more so to put the hands literally on your heart, stacking them. Whichever you choose, the gratitude is there. We feel connected. We send out love and kindness and compassion to those who need it. I'm going to end the practice with an OM, if you're comfortable. Inhaling. Oh. Back forward in respect. Namaste. Peace be with you. Go safely. Thank you for practicing with me today. Truly, it is a joy every morning to get up and be excited about something. To come in here and to connect with you guys, to get the comments, to be able to stay in touch with my aunt who's in Miami, my friend who is in Chile, other yoga studi students that are just in town but they're sheltered to stay safe, and then Becky who's camping she tuned in while camping in the Swanee to visit, which is wonderful. So I love you guys. Big hearts to you. Thank you for the donations and the loves and the cards. It's really helped me get through these days. I think today's day 44. But I will keep you posted about group classes when they can open. It looks like it won't be until about the 18th or so. 
and we'll have limited capacity. So I'll keep you guys posted on all of my social media, my personal page, my business page, and on Instagram and on YouTube. Please share these videos if you like them. Give them a thumbs up. The more you comment, the higher it'll put me up on the, the feed and in the algorithm. Um, if you haven't already, go over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. It shows YouTube that people are watching. And again, it, it kind of boosts me up in the pecking order when people are searching for my channel. I love you bunches. Bye.